Gary, I must admit, I really enjoyed this demo. Talk us through it, please. Okay, so what we've got here is uh, a fairly complex profile to demonstrate our segment cutters or barrel tools as most people know them. Um, initially, uh, we've used the uh, M5008 um, to rough out. The, uh, the radius on the bottom of the tool really lends itself to profiling. Mm -hmm. uh, but then we've used our segment cutters um, to basically finish the profile off. Before we go any further, just talk to me about the, A, the material and B, um, the cutting data of the high feed cutter. The material we're running here is uh, 304 stainless and for the high feed we're running at 170 metres and uh, 2.6 metres table feed. Um, before we move on to the main event, we use a 90 degree tool just to go around the bottom. That's correct, yeah, that's just to clean up the, uh, the bottom of the part from the high feed uh, cutter. That's the MC326, um, that's a fairly rigid tool, we've got it in the long series here. It's got quite a reinforced core which helps it when, uh, when you've got a long overhang like you have with this part. Mm -hmm. And if we just look at the finishing, a tool I love. Um, a, a, a circle segment cutter or barrel cutter, call it what you will. Talk us through that, please. Okay, this is our, um, our eight flute uh, barrel cutter. It's 16 mil diameter. Um, the OD of the cutter uh, effectively has a radius of one meter. So effectively here, we're machining with a two, me with a two meter ball nose cutter. This enables us to have a much, much bigger step over and take an awful lot of time out of the job. Yes, yeah, so if people haven't, haven't seen you, it's just, you know, on the ball nose, you're going to be stepping down at 0.2, maybe 0.4, but with this, you're stepping down at what, four, five, six mil? Yes, we're up to six mil here. Um, comparing that with the 0.2, it's a huge time saving. So, comparatively, if we looked at a 16 mil diameter ball nose, we'd be looking somewhere around about an hour and 20 minutes to finish this part to the same standard to give us the same cusp height as we're getting with the segment tool. So talking off camera to the CIS team, they're blown away by this cutting tool, aren't they? With the, the huge savings, you know, approximately 80%, programmed on edge cam, yeah, they, they love it. It's been absolutely great working with them, yeah. It's been a real team effort. Um, we've obviously supplied the tools and they've worked with us to, uh, to provide and, and, and edit the model uh, to give us the demonstration that we see today. So, Gary, people watching this video, engineers watching this video, and they want to learn more about barrel tools, but maybe they're not quite sure, what would you say to them? Well, given the right application, uh, the time savings uh, potential is, is huge on this. Um, as I said before, comparing this to a traditional strategy, we've saved 80% in terms of the time on the machine. Uh, and if you've got the machine with the additional axes, if you've got a five axis machine or if you've got a linear part, even with a four axis machine, uh, you'd be crazy not to look at this.